This video goes through two methods of installing OpenCV. The first and easy way, which is from pre-built binaries, and the second and harder way is building from source. So let's start off by going to docs.opencv.org, click on 4.x in Nightly, OpenCV Python Tutorials, and Introduction to OpenCV, then Install OpenCV Python in Ubuntu. Let's start with the easy way, which is via pre-built binaries, which installs OpenCV version 3. In your TinkerEdge T, open up a Western terminal and type in sudo apt-get install python3 opencv with a hyphen. I'll fast forward to save some time. Once that's done, open python with python3 and import cv2. Then print cv2 dot double underscore version and that's version 3 installed. But if you want the latest and greatest OpenCV, which is version 5 at the time of recording, then you need to build from source. And the reason why you do it this way is because if you're planning to use OpenCV with Tesseract OCR, then you need OpenCV version 4 and above. Version 3 from apt-get won't work. So what we'll do is start by removing version 3, the one we just installed, with sudo apt-get remove double hyphen auto remove python3 opencv. We use that auto remove parameter to delete any other dependencies that were installed during the installation. And following the steps in this web page, type the following into your western terminal. sudo apt get install cmake and sudo apt get install gcc and g++. Since we're using Python 3, we'll use this line. So that's sudo apt get install Python 3 dev and Python 3 numpy. Next it says we need GTK support. So we'll install these five dependencies. So sudo apt get install And then after that, we want GTK3. Version 2 isn't supported anymore, I believe. So we'll go sudo apt get install lib GTK3 dev. Then we've got these optional dependencies, which I installed anyway. I just bunched them all into one line. So that's sudo apt get install lib png dev lib jpeg dev lib open exr dev lib tiff and lib webp dev next we'll install git with sudo apt get install git and clone the repository with sudo git clone https github.com opencv opencv.git Once that's downloaded, we'll change directory to opencv and then make a new directory here called build. So that'll be sudo mkdir build. And then finally, we'll change directory into build. So that's the dependencies done, and now we can move on to config and installation. Make sure you're in the build folder, and then type in cmake to the previous folder. And when that's done, type in sudo make. And this part is going to take five hours, and you'll definitely run into one of two errors doing this. The first error you might run into is you'll run out of memory during the build, which comes in the form of a fatal error message. Depending on which component fails, um, I found that you could just restart with um, sudo reboot and then change directory back into opencv build and run sudo make again. By restarting, I think it frees up some memory. If restarting didn't work, then you need to fall back to your swap file, which is basically your virtual memory, kind of like the page file in Windows. By default, 
I don't think the Tinker HT has virtual memory enabled. So to double check that, we type in sudo swap on double hyphen show. Now, if that comes back blank, then virtual memory isn't enabled and you'll need to create it. And we do that by following the instructions from this website, linuxeyes.com, awesome website. Links on the screen and video description. So that's sudo f allocate uh, l, I think that's length, uh, one gigabyte swap file. Then sudo chmod 600 swap file to give the read and write permissions to the swap file. Then we'll sudo make swap swap file and sudo swap on swap file. And lastly, we have to update um, a text file. So that's sudo nano etc fs tab and then paste that line at the bottom of the text file. Then to check if the swap file is active, we type in sudo swap on show. And then just to double check, sudo free h. We won't need to adjust the swappiness, so we can skip this section of the website and resume sudo make. Again, this part's going to take hours, so you know, come back in a few hours time. Now, the second issue you might come across is your terminal just isn't updating the progress, so it looks like your build is stuck. You might be tempted to press Control C to end the current process, but don't. If you still hear the CPU fans going on and off every minute or so, it means that sudo make is still running, and if you interrupt the build of a file, you risk getting a truncated error message, which means you've corrupted the build and you have to start sudo make from scratch again, so be patient. When build is done, then you'll want to do sudo make install, and this step doesn't take too long. And cool, all right. That was basically the last step. So now we can open Python with Python 3 and type in import CV2. Now, if you get this module not found error, what's basically happened is OpenCV got installed in the wrong directory. And the easiest way to fix that is to go to the folder where it's supposed to be installed, which is CD user local lib Python 3.7 dist packages. And you're gonna create a new path file called site packages.path. So that's going to be sudo nano site hyphen packages.pth. And then in that text file or path file, we'll type in the previous folder site packages. We'll save and close that. And all this path file is doing is adding an additional path to dist packages. With that done, we'll start Python 3 again and import CV2. And that looks like it's worked, so we'll print CV2 version. And fantastic, we've got the latest version of OpenCV installed. Now that's done, don't forget to remove the swap file. And so we'll do that with sudo swap off swap file and then sudo nano etc fs tab, and we'll delete the last line, save and close. Then delete the actual swap file since we don't need it anymore. So sudo rm swap file. And that's it, you've installed the latest version of OpenCV.